Welcome to Color Harmony. My name is Eric Francis. In this video, we're going to learn how to paint an eye. So we're going to try something a little bit different this time. Before we begin the painting, I want to break down the process. And I believe there are certain essential steps you should take that will make you more successful. To prove this, I'm going to make a digital painting. Now I've never made a digital painting before, so let's see how this works out. After this, we'll get into an acrylic painting. I start off with a very clean line drawing. What I'm paying close attention to in this step is that everything is the right size and is in the right place. And then the drawing is very clean, as clean as possible. The second step is the underpainting. Now this is a step a lot of artists cut out, but it's really essential because you get to see the canvas completely covered with paint it serves as a basic outline for everything to come. When you do this step, you can check out all the little mistakes that you may make, you know? Like after you finish doing this, you might notice that an eye is too high or the pupils are too big, and you know what to do to proceed forward. If you don't pick up on these little mistakes now, you're gonna find yourself halfway done with the painting or almost completely done, and you're gonna start noticing these little areas that don't work out quite right. And you could have cut them out early on just by adding this simple step. In this step, you're not adding much detail at all. It's just a really quick wash of the canvas. I, I normally use umber, some people use gray or red, whatever. It's just so you can get an idea about how the thing is gonna look and the direction that you're taking. In step three, we're going to add color. If you followed the previous step, this should be embarrassingly easy. This stage serves to refine some of the previous work we did in the earlier step. Plus, it's going to lead us forward into the next step. It's going to make everything laid out perfectly for when we begin to blend. And you might have noticed that I'm only using four colors at this point. There's no guesswork involved. You're dropping color in where color belongs. Really simple. This leads us to step four, blending. Pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. If you follow the previous step, it'll guide you directly to where we're at right now. We're just smoothing everything out. We're adding a little more detail. You know, I'm still using the same four colors. I just started adding some more details to the eyes. We've arrived at the final step. Step five is details. It's everybody's favorite step. This is where we finish off the painting. I add some skin texture, finish off on the eyebrows, the eyelashes, I blend everything in perfectly. I even add some extra colors. You might notice around the uh, corner of the eyes, it's just a little bit of orange and on the outside of the eyes, orange. I added that orange color because um, shadows are warm. Finishing a painting could be a little bit difficult. There's certain things you want to add, there's certain things you want to take away. But as a general rule, if there's nothing left to do, then you're done. To create that digital painting, I use GIMP. It's a free uh, image manipulation program. It's pretty cool. I had to use a lot of smudging tool and a lot of airbrushing tool. I just kept changing the opacity to get it the way I liked it. Now let's see how I use the same steps to create an acrylic painting. So I've skipped step one and two to keep this video short and we're moving towards step three. We're building up paint on the canvas. I do this by painting in uh, layers. Each layer builds the, the paint up so it can become thick and opaque. So the painting is uh, relatively thicker. As I progress, the paint gets thinner and you can see through the layers I'm gonna build up. Now I don't want any of the color of the canvas to show through. I just want the colors that I picked to show through. We've now moved on to blending. Blending has to be the most difficult thing you can do with acrylic paint. But relax, got videos on it, just go uh, check out my channel and check out those videos. And the blending is also done in layers also, you know? It, it's the real ugly stage we're getting into right now. But you just gotta hold tight and keep going. You gotta trust in the process. While watching this video, you're going to notice the camera angle gets a lot tighter. 
That's because in the beginning stages, we're focusing on overall large patterns and large details. But as you get closer to the finish, you're focusing in on more smaller details. So the camera angle is going to get a lot tighter. There are no real cut and dry points between the steps that we're taking to finish the painting. It all happens rather naturally. Each step leads right into the next one. And as you proceed through the steps, things get more time consuming. Like the blending stage takes a while, but the finishing stage takes a really long time. It's a labor of love at that point where you're adding all the little details that you want inside the painting. You're taking your time to look at your, uh, look at your reference and look at your painting to make sure everything is going. Really take your time at that stage to make sure everything works out right. We've now entered stage five. Details, 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 and finishing. If this was a relay race, we're now in the last leg of the race. And there's no time to quit or lose heart now. You're almost done. At this stage, we're adding in light washes. We're painting the eyebrows. We're doing eyelashes. And we're adding like skin tone textures. We're really keeping the paint really light. We're diluting the paint a lot. And we're applying it in washes. I learned how to make skin texture really by mistake. When I was trying to learn and it wouldn't blend quite right, you know? Well, those mistakes are serving me now. And it, it should be the same with you. Those quote unquote mistakes will one day serve you. Keep up the good work. One of the very last things I do, like right before I sign my name on a painting, is add highlights. Now let's go over everything we just learned. In stage one, we do a basic outline. In stage two, we make an underpainting. In stage three, we add color. In stage four, we blend. And finally, in stage five, we add details and we're finished. The end. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I also want to thank Jasmine. She lent me the tablet, so I was able to make those wonderful digital paintings. I uh, hope you're holding up your right hand because I'm giving you an air high five through the internet. I want you guys to do me a favor. If you enjoyed what you saw, could you please subscribe, like, add a comment, or share with someone you love. If you want to see more artwork, you can visit my blog. There'll be a link in the description. And if you want to further support this content, you can donate. Your donations go to pay for the price of pens, pencils, canvases, paints, and hopefully a tablet in the near future. I thank you very much for whatever you leave. It's greatly appreciated. These videos are made in response to questions I get asked all the time, so feel free to ask. You might see an answer in a video. Peace.